says. You are now watching AK Debris on YouTube. Welcome back to the house of knowledge, wisdom, evolution, and revolution. Make sure to click the like button, smash the subscribe button, and leave a comment for the algorithm. Get comfortable, grab a bottle of water, and back to you, AK. This is Hannah, AK Debris, London. Says. I hope you came across this and you're angry. If you're not angry, you probably, if you're a man nowadays, uh, you probably carry an angry my state. Let's get one thing understood. When you're angry, you don't like someone telling you, calm down, calm down. But I'm going to tell you, calm down. I, my name is AK Debris, and I love you. Because I love you, I'm going to tell you what no one's going to tell you. I made a note, but I don't like reading from notes. I like just going in. Here's the thing, my brother. A lot of you who watch me are young, but this video is made for all ages. Part of this economy, oh sorry, rather, a result of this rough economy. <clears throat> You know, a lot of people are out of work. Not a lot of money's flowing. You know, that's why you see a rise in crime. But forget crime and poverty. Even those with money are turning angry. The other day, I was on Facebook, and it's like everyone said that. They said that there's a weird energy in the air. People are feeling sad. People are feeling alone. Hold up. Let's clear one thing before. I am not Jordan Peterson. I am not Red Pill. This might sound like Red Pill talk, but I have nothing to do with them. The difference between me, just me, I'm talking about myself, and all these Red Pill people is the nihilism and the perspective and my life situation. Let me tell you something about me. I'm from a place called Sudan. That's where I was born. So I'm African. Light skinned, black, but I'm African. I grew up in Saudi Arabia. Testing. A lot of you, if you're angry right now, let me tell you, a lot of you try to use your past to justify what you're about to do in anger. First of all, my brother, today I'm your big bro. I am not a mental health specialist. I am not a counselor. I'm your big bro, AK. Even if you're older than me, I'm still your big bro. Let me school you real quick. Let me take you to church. Now, my family, my, in the crowd here, I want you to say, take him to church, AK. You want me to take him to church? Say, take him to school. Take him to school, AK. Oh, you want me to take him to school? I got you. Welcome to my school. Lesson number one, my brother. Never ever make a decision while you're happy, happy, while you're angry, angry, 
or while you're under the spell of the meow, the putty, 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 putty cat, putty cat. I can't say it with the S, P-U-D-D-Y. If you're under the spell of the cat, we're going to call it the cat. Actually, Tom and Jerry, they said pussy, the pussy cat. Don't make decisions under the spell. I've made so many horrible, you know, if you make decisions while you're angry, sad, yeah, like to the extreme, you're going to regret them. I look at me that made decisions. Under the influence of the pussycat, happiness, mad anger. And I look at myself like a different person. Like, why would you do that stupid ish? These things are like spells. When you're super angry, wait till you calm down before you do anything. Especially for you younger of my fans. When you're at that age, my brother, you're a teenager. I'm 24. I was just a teenager. I'm not one of these older cats. So I know. I was locked up. I'm not going to go into details. For a bit. Not, not a parking ticket type lockup. I seen some people, by the way, in Arabia, when you take a life, it's automatic capital punishment. The way they do it isn't by injection or, or, or electric chair like the West. They chop your head off in a square publicly. It's called Chop Chop Square. Look it up. So I, I seen some people when I was locked up on... I'm going to say the word and then the first letter because I don't want to get demonetized on F row with a D at the beginning. Pause D. Holla. Now this man is sitting in a, in, a, in a box counting the days. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. The days for what? His birthday? No. The opposite of his birthday, his chop chop day. Forget it, you're in a, let's say you don't have that in where you live. Some of these kids go in the box in the penitentiary, 15 years old, like Haas says. Like I'm 24. Man, I'm young. Sometimes I be feeling pressure. I got to take a step back and be like, hold on, I'm young. I am happy and I'm grateful. I thank God because a lot of people I know didn't make it out. I don't mean make it out in music or YouTube. I mean, make it out alive, make it out with their freedom. When you're angry, someone, let's say, did you wrong. You want to go take revenge. You might go in a moment of anger. Ba ba ba, do do do. You make a stupid decision. And you pay for that decision for the rest of your life. You know how many times I wanted to take revenge? I'm going to go out and say this here. This is just entertainment YouTube. Just my life stories. I could be lying. Long live most bad. When that happened to my brother, I wanted to take revenge. Until recently, I did. But I've seen, I have a therapist, a friend, a licensed therapist. Shout out to Judah. I spoke to a lot of people at the church. Muslim, you know, mosque. 
and as much as it hurts me, I had the ability to take revenge. Even though I don't live in the same country, I could have, if I wanted to. But I had to grow up because the guy that did that to my brother, even he did the same mistake. You gotta step back and look at the big picture. In a moment of stupidity, I don't know, they was trying to rob him or if it was jealousy or both. But he popped my friend, right? My friend, my brother's gone. If I took revenge, it's not gonna remove the hole he left in my heart, which is my brother passing. As much as I wanted to. I'm human, of course I wanted to take revenge. Before that, so many times people did me wrong. But God giving me the perspective. See, that guy who did that, I didn't take my revenge. But he, he's, most babe was 20 years old. The guy that did that was within the same age range. Let, let's, let's just pretend, I don't know his age, but let's say anywhere from 18 to mother effing 30. Still young at 30. He lost the rest of his life. 25 to life, 40 years, a life sentence. If they don't do capital punishment, I don't know how it works and where he lived. It is equally as sad to him because he, he maybe is an idiot. I'm angry at him, sure. But I also had to step back and realize he has a family as well. As much as I had hate in my heart, that hate and anger tortured me, not him. When you about to make a stupid decision in anger. Just take a step back and think before you do it because it'll cost you way more than you think. If you're about to hurt someone, you're hurting yourself. If you walking around carrying hate for someone personally or for anyone, it's like holding a, a burning coal. You're the one getting burnt. Even if you hurt them, it's not going to fix. It's not going to fix you internally. You have to face yourself. And this part, I can't answer for you. You have to look within and figure out what is it? What is it that's making you angry? Are you broke? You need a strategy to make money. When you make the money, you won't be as angry. Girl left you, you're young probably. There's hella girls out there. Better than her. But when you walking around with the hate, I've used hate as motivation and anger and revenge, but I'll tell you one thing, I've paid the price. Even though I've tried to channel that energy positively, I was like, I'm gonna show you. When I come up, I'm, I'm gonna flex on you. I came up and I got the flex. And I've took it too far with the flex and I humiliated those. But it didn't bring me no joy. I realized I wasn't mad at them, I'm mad at myself. And I paid the price by realizing this ugly truth, which is I'm mad at myself the whole time. Second of all, I've realized I've paid the price with my health. 
When you're angry, stressed, your health suffers. And I don't care what justification you have for being angry. Because remember how I told you I'm from Sudan. Look up Sudan on Google Images. There's famines in Sudan. I'm talking mass starvation. So, I feel like God gave me this experience and made me see what I've seen. If you go on Google and look up Sudan, Sudan children, Sudan famine, Sudan therefore, you will see you, pics you've probably seen before, you, you just didn't know that this is Sudan. That's where I was born, yes. You'd see the kids with like um, their stomach and ribs. They're super skinny. I would show a picture, but I don't want to risk because I'm not trying to end up like them kids. I got to pay my bills and buy my groceries. Unless you want me to go back to the streets right? and end up hurting you. I'm trying to go positive. Now, if you have money, go to Africa. Because... I want you to see it in real life. When you're in the West, you got it good, sure. But a lot of you are walking around ungrateful. I'm not religious myself, but I hate this about a godless society. It's not because you lack God, you lack gratitude. That's why I said go to Africa, because when you see them kids or that environment face to face, the pictures look very sad. The kid with his ribs showing, he's starving. He got to drink water that's tainted with dirt and mud and oil from the oil tycoons. And, 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 and he might catch a stray bullet from the warfare. And... and and the issues between South Sudan and North Sudan. Or life is horrible for him, but his perspective is that of the ancestors. When they speak about the ancient African, back in ancient Egypt, the black African gods that ran ancient Egypt, not the modern Egyptians. No, no offense to my Egyptian brothers, but you are not, you are not that uh, uh, descendants of those great African black kings. Even I'm not 100%. The colonizer have touched, but nonetheless, I'm directly, I've seen smaller pyramids. The civilization itself was in Sudan. Sudan is right next to Egypt, if you'd never knew this. The pyramids, in Egypt, because until 30, 40 years ago, 50 years ago, it used to be Egypt and Sudan were one thing. But the colonizer plays divide and conquer. They divided Egypt and Sudan. They've told the Egyptians, you're the pharaohs, you're, you're not. That big old pyramid in Giza, yes, it's great. It's part of the civilization we all shared. But those people were black and the pyramids in Egypt are less than the ones in Sudan. And those are no disrespect, but that's facts. The pyramids of Giza is a grave. 
And it has other purposes, but nonetheless, it was a grave for the pharaohs. The actual civilization was near, uh, I forget the place, Mutterwe and, and what's the place with black Egyptians? My friend was from out there. Anyway, that's not, I got, that's not what I'm saying. You've heard that the ancient Egyptians, before the cross, it was the Ankh, which is based on feminine principles versus man principles. The cross is based on male principles. It's a ripoff of our ancient African teachings. We lived in harmony. We believed in living in harmony and peace. When I was in Sudan, and I've seen a lot of those, I've seen some stuff I can't, I'd fail to describe to you. You got to see it yourself. Like the kid who was starving, just like in many, I've seen some people with less than nothing. Living conditions are already horrible, made worse thanks to our uh, dictators who are selfish and, you know, they do more damage to their people than drill music. But I keep getting distracted. What I'm trying to tell you, angry man, those kids have nothing. Their hopes and ambitions, they don't live in the great land of opportunity. They don't have opportunity. But the only opportunity they got is to leave Sudan. And when they leave, they don't have money. Unless they come up off something. So they probably gonna go to a different country and get treated like the black refugee. Get out of my country, dude. Get out of my country, dude. I'll slap you. Those kids are smiling. They don't have barely any good drinking water, but they're smiling, laughing, and dancing. They have nothing. But you are on the internet, angry over what? You angry because you don't have money? I should smack you back to reality. White people say, according to them, I was abused as a child. I wasn't abused. My dad smacked the F out of me. He beat me up so I, sometimes I got, I mean, I deserved it, but I got punched, bleeding and all. I went to school, I had whip marks. But you know what, Father? I love you and thank you for doing that to me. Not that I would ever do it to my child, but thank you because now I look at a lot of y'all and you are lacking, uh, uh, like there's a lack of fathers in the hood. I was blessed to have mine, even though I rebelled and I went crazy and I ended up in, in, in getting locked up and I'm not proud, I mean, I got a face out for God's sake. I didn't end up like he wanted me to, but he left something in me more than Abused, I wasn't abused. Thank you. I'm glad he whipped me. Now, when I'm when I get carried away, I don't want to do it so I don't get demonetized. But I smack myself, jokingly, YouTube. I smack into reality. I snap out of it. You hear crying about. Grown men crying about not having a girlfriend. Man. Nah.
first of all, if you're a man, I'm going to be honest with you. You keep talking about a red pill. I'm going to give you the real red pill. I'm not selling you a course. Consider me your internet father or big brother or daddy. For those that like, I could, I'm daddy. I like to be daddy. Anyway, that's none of your business. I'm daddy to those, not to you. To you, you address me with respect when you do address me. Even if it's criticism, you come with respect. Daddy is getting distracted. So I'm going to get back to my notes and, and, and read the points that I've made. And then I'll let you go. Let you go choke the chicken or go to bed. But it is important. This next part of the video is going to, it's important. It's not going to be rambling. I'm going to tell you the stuff you need to hear. You might not want to hear it, but you need to hear it. I promise you. A lot of you aren't sober. Shout out to my sober people. But what is contributing to your anger? If you're sober, I am never going to recommend you do any illegal behavior or, or drink while you're underage. Never that. Let's be clear. Stay sober. I'm sober all the time. I will eat my vegetables, but after I finish YouTube, I talk slow because I don't want to blow your high. But some some of you might be on on it on on some stuff recreationally. I used to smoke cigarettes. When I didn't have a cigarette, that contributed to my anger. I, I I had to hide the habit because obviously my parents or my family never approved of that lifestyle that I was living in Arabia. It was a smoking culture. I haven't quit all the way. I still, you know, I switched to the vapes, which is not so much better, but it's better. But lack of nicotine would drive me insane. I would get agitated, angry, and that was one of the contributors to my anger. Sometimes your anger isn't coming fully from heartbreak or, or, or grief. It could be coming from substance abuse. And a lot of y'all in the hood take perks and mercs and dirks. Before you go, spin the black or let either substance abuse or, 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 or peer pressure, you gonna let them talk to you like that. You gonna let them do that. If you do 40, if you go do that, and you get flicked, you get caught up, they gonna hit you with the book. A lot of people go to jail at 15 and come out at, at, at 40 or 50. Your whole life is gone, you might as well. I can't say that, you know? And capital punishment is mercy. It's better than coming out at 50 years old, trying to slide and girls, maybe forget girls. Maybe you like, you discovered you like boys now. Maybe worse than that. Not, not saying that being gay is bad, never. I love LGBT, mm -hmm. but Maybe he, he, he's worse. Maybe he turned into Africa Bambata. Or, or what was he? Martin Looney. What was his name? Paul Mooney. Paul Mooney. Anyway, again, we, we're getting distracted. But yeah, man, like sometimes... Clear your mind. 
and think clearly. Anger is just like substance abuse. Man is not supposed to be emotional. Maybe you didn't have a father or father figure to tell you that. I'm telling you that. Women are emotional, men logical, rational. When you're angry or sad, happy, or under pussy cat smell, uh, spell, your rationality is clouded or unavailable. Or for the scam rap people who like me for scam rap, hackers, whatever, your mind becomes offline. Your second mind goes online. Uh, uh, holla. Let's, let's get serious. Now, I, I was raised Muslim. And I've done my research on many religions. So uh, even the Jews know this, right? I think Moses was the prophet for the Jews. I could be wrong. My brothers, even if you're not religious, take the good from this. Moses had a tablet with the, with the scriptures on it. I have this laptop. Okay. You like my stickers? All of that. Yeah. So the first note here. Use academics on Fresh and Fit as example. The whole reason I made this is academics, if you don't know him, and you've came across the, the, the clip, I'm not going to show it, obviously, but you can search it. The clip of him basically going at it with this uh, manly chick, he was roasting her. She clapped back. She caught him fat. Eh, 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 eh. He got in his feelings. And I've seen a smart dude turn not smart for a few moments. He was going off at her, calling her boyfriend broke. And listen... Eh, People try to spin it like academics is, they try to spin this narrative. That academics is a red pill leader. And they were like, watch how red pill leaders loses it on females and it shows that he hates women. As aggravating, and because and, when you hear a lie, it's like someone is gaslighting you and you know the truth, right? So as, as aggravating and angry that made me to hear, because I know academics. He's one of the smartest people I know. He's the reason I'm here today uh, covering hip hop and stuff, besides Hassan. So he's a, he's a very rational dude. He contributed to the peace in, in, in Chicago, at least, or Chirac. This is not a drug, by the way. This is not what you think it is. Food color. But what made such a smart man be not smart for a few moments? Two factors, three, environment, one, he's a content creator. He's concerned always about giving you content. Even if you're not a entertaining per person and you choose the life or job that I have, which is to entertain you, my dear viewer. You know, he, academics is supposed to be a goofy and nerd, self-admittedly, who's not trying to harm people, right? But that life has its effect on you, especially when you're in an environment and you get attacked by one of your 
a major insecurity. He's usually in his room, bedroom, or studio, roasting people on the internet. He's not used to getting attacked like this around a bunch of women, including his girlfriend and two men who, you know, like, you know, fresh and fit. Come on. Ha ha ha, academics is bad. Ha ha ha, beta male. I love the show, but horrible environment. Second, substance abuse. This is not one of them. So, and I promise you, my f my fellow lovers and family, I quit this food coloring. I quit it after this. I'm not buying anymore. I'm quitting all. I'm not sipping lean. Not that this is lean, YouTube. They demonetized my mu music video for wisdom because someone reported that I have, I have, he said, drugs, this is not drugs. I appealed it and I showed them this is not drugs and they approved it. They took off the age restriction, but I got demonetized. Whoever did that, I'm not gonna say nothing. Because yeah. I don't want no problems, but this is not drugs. This is food coloring. If you think it's drugs, prove it. So, what, what were you saying? Academics. Substance abuse was a contributor. Now, if you watch academics, you know, people call him Henny Demix, referring to his use of Hennessy. His biggest rants were under the influence of alcohol. So he was drunk. He was in an environment. And what else? Yeah, I guess in security, he got attacked. So he acted out, even though he started it. He called the girl manly and stuff, you know. I don't believe in all that stuff that I've been preaching, talking about. I respect you guys. I respect everybody. But you will never catch me using that terminology. Alpha male, beta male. You guys are lost. We as a people are civilized. We can speak. We built rockets that go to the moon and, and we're trying to go to Mars. But you are still trying to classify humans like we're animals, like beta, alpha. Those traits exist, but they're not a curse. Or, or So if you consider yourself beta, hit the gym, get some money, and watch life transform. But these terms are stupid. If I'm wrong, I believe I was saying uh, substance abuse, right? Listen, I've made jokes about crackheads and stuff, right? In my music. I even said my ex trying to smoke a rock. I don't know if that's true. I was just rapping. As much as I make jokes, I don't fault I don't fault you or shame you for being addicted because I'm not perfect and no one is. But I fault you for not trying. Man, try. Anyway, this is not rehab. I'll do a separate video. When I say substance. Uh, I've realized I've never been to. Okay, that's good. I never been to a therapist or a psychiatrist. I tried when I was grieving. The psychiatrist left me on red, even though I had money. 
and 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 the next day she responded with like, "Yeah, I'm sorry to hear, uh, but I'll put you on a wait list, man. Get out my face." No disrespect to anyone in the field, but I just wanted to talk. I don't want to go to, to him to vent my problems. It don't take a rocket scientist to know I probably have hella mental conditions. Pretty sure I got PTSD. I mean, I wouldn't be a successful entertainer if I wasn't a little narcissist. Let's be honest. So narcissistic, maybe personality. I don't want to hear what I have. Because I don't want that to affect my perspective. I, I got distracted. Back to it. To the tablets. So yeah, if you're on ADHD meds, and I'm trying my best to avoid talking about drugs, but this is in the context of science, YouTube. For you guys that like to report me, my haters, they don't like me because I'm a boss. I've been working all day. Hold on. You might ask yourself, why do I got to listen to AK? Why did I make it this far in the video? Because I say this very humbly. Because I'm from the streets. You'd rather hear me explain science to you than a college professor very boring. Oh, do, 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 do. Or like the other YouTubers. No disrespect. Just reading the script. Soulless. When you see me, you see yourself. I, 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 I'm a real N, right? I keep it 100 with you. I don't have a course to sell you. I don't even want your money. But if I manage to stop one person from ruining their own life, I succeeded. If you didn't know, I helped birth drill music. Don't ask me how, go watch my videos. You know how. Yes, me, I helped make drill music, as you know it today, famous. That wasn't my intention, but I was capitalizing being desperate. Nonetheless, I'm trying to undo what I've done because I feel horrible. So I'm a boss. I've been working all day. When I when you hear people talk about I'm a boss, I'm a boss ass bitch. I'm a, I'm a real boss. I'm the real boss. When you hear boss, you hear you imagine like the Godfather or one of those movies saying like this. What's the dude name on No Jumper? Put his feet on the table. No, no, I hit you with the backhand disrespectful how would you put your feet on the table on a man's house i'm from arabia you come to my house you put your feet on my table i will break them for you until you go walk out if not i'll drag you with broken legs Hale. it's all about respect f the money i don't want your money i'm a boss but boss doesn't mean i'm sitting with my feet up cross on a table a real boss is i work for myself there's a tattoo on my face you would never see me in a job no disrespect i love nine to five i used to work nine to five but i work for myself when you work for yourself you sacrifice the the the, the I want to call it safety, or, 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 or let's call it safety. You know what I mean? The safety of a job. I'm going to go here, not if I for sure, I'm going to give my, I don't have that. So I work all day. I do a lot of things. I don't like to talk about it. But today I had a lot of clients for mixing and mastering. It took all my power, but I still chose. I should be asleep right now. I should be hitting the blunt like you, the viewer. But no, I'm chose to come here and, and, and 
and stop one person from 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 being angry because I know it's a lot of anger. There's a lot of anger out here. And the rappers. The rappers ain't saying stop the violence. They're making you more mad. Maybe they're following an agenda. I don't know. I don't care. I left the rap game for reasons. I can't talk about them because I don't want to get Malcolm X, Martin Luther King. I just want to live my life. I have a family. But again, it don't take a rocket scientist. I came face to face with the Illuminati and I said, I'm good. I don't want the rap game. I know how to make money without rap. I don't want to. So yes, instead of relaxing, I choose, I choose to come here. If I save one life in Islam, it says, if you take the life of one man, it's as if you took the life of all men. But if you save the life of one man, it's as if you saved all. If I save one person, which I've already saved a lot of people, one person, then mission accomplished. Success doesn't always mean money. In the hood, there's poverty. And there's a lack of fathers and father figures. So when people look up, people want someone to look up to. They look up to NBA young boy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All, uh, look up to me. But realize I'm not perfect. But I will always tell you the truth. I don't have a course to sell you. I ever ask you for money. I talk a lot of smack in my music, but I tell you straight up in the whole video, this is just entertainment. Yes, I, I mean, lying in the songs because it's fiction. You don't have to prove to anyone that you're a real N. Matter of fact, it's a lot of youngsters. I see them now. Back in my days, I hung out with some real life takers. Hassan Campbell might look at me and say he taking my style, but Hassan, this is really my life. I hung out with some real, and they had bodies to show, but we just hang and laugh and chill and smile. They just want to be happy. Like me, a lot of youngsters today, they want to get the girl, so they act tough and gangster. I was at the club, I seen one younger dude, he acting all tough, like, bro, the girl knows it's fake, but I don't know, it works, so, but don't go, don't go to, to the pen. Don't catch a life sentence trying to impress a girl. Because hear it from me, someone who got locked up. Once you get in, no, all your friends you're trying to prove you're tough to, they're not going to visit you. Maybe one will visit you. Maybe two. But in my case, I had zero. Your family, if you have any. That's who will cry when you get 40 years. That's who will come and see you. That is probably who told you what I'm telling you, but you said, shut up, ma, I know what I'm doing because you want to be grown. You're not. 
So if you don't want to listen to your parents or moms who's working hard, or if you don't have her, God bless whoever is in your life, grandma, uncle, even if it's a abusive uncle, take that from wisdom. If you don't have them, guess what? You have me. As long as I breathe, I will tell you the truth, my brother. My brother in God, you're not my bro. I called the guy who is disrespecting me. Listen to this. In the comments, I, I once disrespected him, but it was a Sunday. I was like, you know what? I attended the church with Bishop uh, uh, William. What's his first name? Bishop Whitehead, the one who drives a Rolls Royce. He got robbed. That same pastor. Shout out to him. He showed me love. So I attended church. And yes, I'm raised Muslim. In Islam, it says if you're in a, in a, in a it says like if you can go to the crib church or, or, or the Jewish temple because it's Abrahamic religion. And I was depressed and going through grief. So I said, let me attend. Nonetheless, I was feeling positive. So when the hater came at me, by the way, it's a stranger online. He's coming at me talking about, you keep sucking D, trying to get clout, shut up, nobody. I was like, okay, brother. Today I'm feeling godly. Okay, brother. Thank you, brother, for the feedback. I turned the other cheek. He said, you're not my brother. Don't call me, bro. You're lucky. If you caught me last week when I was on my BS, grieving over most paid, I would have. <laughs> but I can't be a hypocrite. If any of you work in front of a computer or just look at screens all day or maybe you just from birth have like eye strain. It's, it can be torture. So this is my YouTube hat and this to block the blue light. Family. Uh, this is you guys, my subscribers, not the one-time viewers until they subscribe. I'm not talking to you, but family, please remind me to make a video about butterfly effect. I'm done rambling. I'm in control. Um, again, if you're on the lean, get off it. This is not lean, but fix your life. It's time to, uh, don't, don't let these rappers fool you. There's nothing good about addiction. Don't fall for peer pressure. I don't care if it's drugs or if it's violence. If you've watched my video, I'm not getting distracted. I'm aware, I have the laptop. If you've watched maybe two, three videos ago, I made a video called How to Live and Think Like a White Man. If you're one of the imbeciles, idiots, who skipped my whole knowledge and just jumped to the, you're racist. How could you say that? You act like the white man is better. I'm sorry. Time and time, I've told you over and over the black man created mathematics, electricity, uh, architecture before the Greeks built pyramids, uh, discovered astronomy and astrology. So don't use that on me. I take some teachings from Buddhism, but I'm not a Buddhist. Take the good things, dummy. With that being said, 
there's a freedom in not caring what people say. For example, I come here and I tell you I'm not a gangster. I'm not. They call me a pussycat. Yeah. YouTube. I mean pussycat. If I get demonetized for saying pussycat, demonetize Tom and Jerry. Because I've heard that lady. She's like, come here, pussycat, pussy pussycat. I'm talking about cats. So if I, uh, there's a freedom. And you see this in white people. I love that. It changed my life. Shout out to my white friend, Matt. Love you, bro. You changed my life. Black people, so caught up trying to flex. This is why you see in the PPP season, African Americans have been asking for reparations for years. I don't recommend fraud or scamming, but all of a sudden, God gave you reparations. What did you do with it? Hit the Gucci star, the Louis star. Oh my God. Oh, the, this shirt, it don't cost more than 20 bucks. 50 bucks for the hat, but it's not a Gucci hat. It looks amazing. I'm black and I have money. I'm not rich, but I have more than the average person. When you stop caring, what people think, white people, they get rich, they invest their money. My friend is almost damn near, I don't know if he's a millionaire, but he's rich. And you know, by my standards, rich takes a lot to say rich. He's rich. But he dresses, he wears sketchers. I used to clown him. I used to clown him till I grew to understand. He's not the goofy. I was the goofy all along. Kanye West told you new slaves. They did Kanye just like they did me. AK, you're good, yeah. AK, you love the white man, you Uncle Ruckus. Go suck the white man. Kanye was right. Physical slavery is gone. I understand you don't have the head start other races do due to slavery, sure. But are you trying to? Or are you in a hood right now causing more violence, trying to spin the block? Oh, you made it out from rapping? Are you speaking out against violence? Or are you still living in a mansion? Talking about spin the block for the ones that made it. Can you answer that? I don't care about your driving through the hood, giving a lady a hundred dollars, talking about giving back to the community. That's not effing giving back to the effing community. The mother effing community. A hundred dollars. You get listen. I don't disrespect drug addicts. I like I said earlier, but you gave $100 to a crackhead. What is he going to do with it? He's going to go buy crack? How the hell is that given back to the community? You mother effing. Mm. <sighs> you want to give back to the community? Do what I'm doing. Do what Hassan Campbell is doing. Stop hating on Charleston White. And I almost caught you. And Negro, stop being a dumb. <sighs> stop furthering a culture of ignorance. I'm a pussy cat because I'm not trying to spin the black. Mother effer, I've been locked up for kidnapping. Well, you, you, you. Uh, I could be lying. Maybe I'm lying. Take the good from the white people. Stop being stupid, because you're stupid. I'm sorry to say, black people, I love you, 
This is why I say, you're stupid. You're more mad at a white lives matter. If anything, listen. Slavery happened, sure. We're still feeling the effects, sure. I love young Pharaoh, sure. But white people are not your enemy. Try to be friends with them. Stop listening to those angry, sour. Uh, because a lot of OGs in the hood. I'm not telling you the white man is God. I'm not telling you he's superior. He's not superior. But the fact is, we, we should be friends. Because we all know the problem. We all know the problem. Especially America. You guys have racial tensions so high with the police brutality. Okay, we all know what the problem is. You keep talking about the problem. I offer a solution. You tell me every day, the disease, the disease, the disease. I don't know if they demonetize for Arabic curses. But when I come to you, with the cure, you wanna put, you wanna shun me? I hit you with this laptop. Calm down. Let me calm down. You see why I drink purple food coloring? Be friends with white people and all other races. I don't care what the Chinese man did to you a thousand years ago. You don't even know what happened for a thousand years ago. I do. I did the research. I should be more angry than you. Mother Effa, I'm a black man, but I am Gen Z. Shout out to the older folks, but I'm Gen Z. Slavery is illegal now. The only slavery is in your mind. You go buy a chain, you go buy a... God gave you reparations. The ancestors, oh, they, the ancestors had internet. You don't know. I know. A separate video, I'll explain it. They had internet. Now that the cycle repeats itself, we're in the age of Aquarius, AKA the age of awakening. The internet currently is the biggest proof of that. How? I'll tell you how. The internet now, you know how they talk about AI and how AI is becoming sentient, AKA thinks for itself, AKA it's a fully a complete being similar to a human. Before we get to AI, before we got to AI, what is the internet? It's a bunch of computers, a bunch of phones connected together. But the internet has opinions. So, so it is basically a collective consciousness. It's been that, but you're too stupid. Or you want to, you think the internet is Instagram. So you flex at Mary Jeans. Allah, give me patience. Do not. Still recording? <sighs> Let me finish this video. Second. Stupid mother effer. You mad at the white man today? Candace Owens makes good points, but she's wrong about Floyd. I don't care if he had Fent in his system. You don't know what I do in my life off camera. Without getting into details, I might have more Fent in my system right now, and you don't even know it. I don't recommend it. I tell you don't do it, but... I'm well experienced in that world. We all watched the video, Candace. 
I don't know what where your goal is from. from I, st I still gotta watch the documentary, but I'm gonna pirate it, Candace. I'm sorry. I'm gonna torrent your documentary. I'm not giving money to Daily Wire. You kidding me? I don't trust it. It feels too political. It's not a independent news organization. What's her name? Brett? The Tick Brett, not Johnson. The, the girl Sneeko used to like, what's her name? She's hot. She's attractive. I agree with a lot of points. I probably would take her out to a date and or smash. But regardless, A real activist fighting for the real truth will get assassinated. That's a fact. The media will call him crazy. The media will call him a liar. I love Jews, but they will put labels on him, such as this and that, anti this, anti that, this phobic, that phobic. I am not an activist. I love everybody. I clown everybody. But I'm... I'm I'm a rapper, man. I'm trying to make money. I don't care. But, but sometimes, I'm just saying, I don't work for for a news organization that profits from fear-mongering or tells its people like Ben Shapiro as much as I like him. Cardi B got a dry P word. <laughs> I agree with Shapiro. I agree with Brett. Hit me, Brett. Forget Sneeko. All right. I'm not Filipino, but I can be your Quentin Tarantino. Holla. Shout out, Brett. Just jokes. Uh, or Candace Owens. Also attractive, baby. Candace. I n normally don't go for black girls, but you, I like you. But don't get it effed up. Don't get it twisted. I don't agree with you on a documentary. Maybe I gotta watch it. Maybe I'll change my mind. I watched clips of what you said on Hassan Campbell. And I agree with most of it. I'm pro... I'm not pro-life, so my opinion don't matter. All I'm saying is, even though I agree with you, I can see behind why a black woman had one as yourself, attractive one, beautiful black queen, well-educated, would make a, a, a long documentary trying to say that he passed away from fent, not a knee on the neck. Like, I can't believe my own eyes. For a second there, you got to me. For a second, I was questioning. I'm like, Did he, is it a conspiracy? Because BLM was a scam. Not the movement, the organization. I allegedly used to be in a scam world. I get it. But is it to go as far as to say Floyd didn't have a knee on his neck? Like, I can't, like, I, bruh, come on. I get it. Black people are stupid. But Candace, you pushing it. Not all of us are stupid. I may be light-skinned, but I'm not Drake. Oh, I Ran up, I hit him with the Drake. Just music. But Candace, forget him with the Drake. You know, like I'm, 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 I'm. You managed to make me question my own eyes for a couple of days, but now that the lean hit, just joke lean, not real lean. And the other substances, 
I can see clearly. I'm gonna wait till I consume my vegetables. Maybe I'll have a. How do we go from anger to candace on? ADHD is real. Let me wrap this up before my camera die. So yeah, man, like if you're angry, like calm down. You probably don't want to hear it, calm down, but calm down. At least before you make a decision. I'm not telling you don't be angry. There's a reason why you're angry. But before you act and make a decision, before I make any decision, I smoke, uh, uh, no, no, can't say it. I consume vegetables like broccoli. Little yaddy broccoli. I choke my chicken. You know what I'm talking about. I beat it. What is it you ask? You know what it is. I get that post nut clarity. I don't care if I call on an escort. Never recommend that, by the way, guys. I'm just joking jokes. But I will get that post nut clarity before I make any decisions. Record label, we got a deal. I'm under the spell thinking about booty cap. I can't wait to flex on my ex. Sign a deal without realizing it. It's a messed up deal. Ruined my life. Always choke the chicken. I am partly no fap, but fap is necessary before. Before you, you, you like the dude who took troubles the rapper's life over booty cat. If he choked the chicken, he wouldn't be facing 40 years. You see what I'm saying? I made stupid decisions for love, but I choked my chicken and, and got the post nut clarity. And I was like, this bee trying to finesse me? Oh, I don't care if it's business, uh, you in the streets, you're gonna choke the chicken and smoke on it. You know how people say, sleep on it, do that too. But save the decision making. I'm not telling you, you shouldn't be angry. But again, at the same time, my, my Negro, you shouldn't be angry. The kid in Africa got nothing. He's, my brother, I am dancing today. So my brother, are you welcome me? Brother, we must dance together because we are from Africa, so we can prosper. Huh? Man, you worried about the wrong dance. You need to be doing the rain dance. You don't got drinking water. It don't matter, my brother. I have the, the spirit, the African. So we got no excuse. He grow. <laughs> Seriously. I shouldn't tell you how to think. But you watching me, you're in my house. Calm down, Negro. Calm down before I hit you. Relax. I got in so many fights, but I was always the one calming it down. If you ever learn Kung Fu, or at least attended one class, I never got past the, uh, what's after yellow belt? I quit because it's not my thing. Bruce Lee. But they teach you something. If you continued to learn martial arts, whether it's Kung Fu, MMA, uh, was Andrew Tate's one, there's a lesson they teach you from day one. It is like owning a firearm. If you continue and you learn, you will be able to take someone's life with your bare hands, Shadar Raka. But that doesn't mean you go walk outside. Hey, you look at my girl butt. Oh, no. The real win is to skip the fight. 
never fight. Just because you know how to wapapa, that don't mean you are. So I always was the one comment anyway. So don't make the decision until you calm. Moving on. My health, this is me, not you. I'm telling you personal, my health suffered. I don't want to go into details or why separate video, but let's just say uh, things like, uh, or uh, my health suffered greatly. I don't want yours to suffer or end up addicted because you know the white, I used to abuse the white. Before I abused it, I used to do it at parties and never even want to use it again. You want to know when it turned into abuse? When I did it out of sadness and anger, then it became a pattern. So don't seek out substances. Don't drink your pain away. It's not going to go away. I'd rather you eat vegetables than drink it away because I don't know if you know, but alcohol, <laughs> it's not a stimulant, it's a depressant. So if you're sad and angry, you go drink it away, you're gonna be more angry. Even this, even an opiate, this is not, but even an opiate, even if you shoot up, you think it's gonna make you forget the pain? I won't. I speak from experience. I abused many opiates, many. Remember when Gucci Mane went on that rant, disrespecting everybody? He was off a lean. So if opiates supposed to make you feel good about your problems, did it make Gucci feel better? He was a millionaire. He had reasons to be happy. Like the YouTuber, I don't support his movement, but he made good, what's his name? Think before you sleep, think. Think my son, think. Oh, I had to bring the camera closed like this and tell you so. Actually, so these lights on. Listen, listen here, brother. You have to forgive. I'm just like you. I'm not reading off a script here. I wrote it, but I'm telling you straight up. I wanted revenge for my brother. You think I didn't know what it felt like to go get, get back? I wanted to get back. But I had to step back. You have to forgive, you have to. Revenge is not gonna fix what's inside. You wanna fix what's inside? First step is forgiveness. You don't forgive them for being D heads or, 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 or I keep saying idiots, but I want to say worse, but bear with me here. Idiots, dummies, dumb A's with that two S's, B A Negroes. Okay, I get it. Some of them do deserve it. But if you if you wish that on somebody, calm down before you carry on. I can never tell you, you shouldn't feel anger. Sometimes anger is justified. But don't act on it. Sleep on it. I am not trying to sound like I'm some gangster, because I don't even live in the same country as my brother. But, and I would never hurt a fly. 
But if I wanted to, I could have had that guy touched. I wouldn't though. Cause I'm not I'm not a hypocrite. I actually practice what I preach. But buying commissary, buying ramen noodles for somebody in the same facility. I could afford to get you at least uncomfortable. But I forgive the brother as much as he hurt me. And my brother can't come back. And I'm not sad. I'm not looking for sympathy. I'm trying to tell you because maybe you're not in the same. Maybe you're not angry. But one day, anger will pass upon us all. It is one of the emotions that we all feel. How you deal with your anger could make you or break you. It's I don't, I'm not talking to women. I'm talking to you, man. Especially black man in a hood who's fatherless and has no one to look up to. So he looks up to a drill rapper who tells you spin the black. Most of these real drill rappers either got got up by the FBI or they're sitting in a, in a, in a they're either in a jail or in a grave for us. No, no pretty way to say it. Woman, you want you like beads? You like females? I don't care if you like trans, my end. I don't care if you was a dyke, just a, a manly dyke. Whoever is on the other end of the feminine side, you're not supposed to be emotional. That's for the female. As a man, you're supposed to be rational and stoic. I am not a red pill. Matter of fact, I hate red pill because if you're angry, don't go to the red pill, guys. They will fuel your anger and convince you that you're worse than what you think you are and then turn around and sell you a course. Me? I got money, Negro. I don't want your money. I want to see this world better. It starts with me. I'm not perfect, but God is working on me. I try it, and I'm working on me too. God, I don't care if you don't believe in him, the universe, the source, it's the scientist, atheist. The source, this uh, 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 divine intelligence, since you want to get into physics or metaphysics. Listen here, dummy. God, I'm done trying to be like, Disclaimers, let me talk to you straight up. God wants to help a lot of y'all. That's why your, your fake friends that you never knew were fake, all of a sudden backstab you. You get mad, but you should calm down. Yes, I'm going to tell you what to do. You're in my house. You're watching my YouTube. You're going to listen to me because I care about you. I'm not selling you a course. Hear me out. The best thing that happened is that hurtful stuff that happened to you. Yes, you were naive and you let the man use you, your best friend, backstab you, F'd your B, ran off with your money, robbed you. I've seen it all. But that's the best thing that happened because you got to see his true colors. So when you're balling tomorrow, whatever you're mad about right now won't matter. I don't care if it was a parent dying. Time heals everything. And it's coming from experience. I feel, I'm still dealing with grief. I'm from where you from, dummy. I had it worse than you. So take it for me. <laughs> I am no, I'm not weak. I'm strong. You are strong. Being strong doesn't mean bah. That's a tiny fraction of being strong. And going and bullying and knocking doesn't make you strong, it makes you a coward. You want to be strong, you want to be a warrior. First step is discipline. 
but they're not here for the first step. Second step is control, self-control. You think a soldier in the army wakes up and goes on, on, on the hub? Or bang spank, you guys know the side. Or fans only, to hit the, spend his, his, his. Oh, the, it's about self-control. It's not about no fap. In the army, I've never been, but I have the military warrior mind state because I grew up in Arabia at a time of war. <laughs> Being a booty cat, as they call me, was not an option. That's why I know I wanted to. But besides the point, what was I saying? Yeah, being in the army. The army is about protecting your country. Cool. It's about war and this and that. So when you wake up, what's the point of them telling you, soldier, make your bed? Because they love beds, looking good. Should we be worried about the enemy? I mean, in Arabian stuff. The Houthi or the Sisis, I can't say their name. CC, S-I-S-I, -S -I, backwards. Shouldn't we be worried about them sending a missile like the one that hit the airport with my father in it? Or the one that wiped out my neighbor's house up in Syria? Isn't that what we should be worried about instead of... Making the bed, general? Here's what you don't understand, dummy. You're sitting here crying about your girlfriend, but you can't even. A lot of YouTubers, they're like, AK, hey, I look up to you. You motivate me. I wish I had the drive like you. Listen, in my case, I wasn't born a Canadian citizen, like I said. I, Sudan, so if you know about what's happening in Sudan, the media won't cover it, but if you know, you know. So for me, not having to drive, not hustling, I apologize for this cutoff. That was a technical difficulty. I'm not going to be a hypocrite. I am a bit pissed off. And mine is not this big, by the way. It's, that's neither here nor there. Man, that was the best part. That was the realest part in the video, too. Like, I got clothes and I'm talking to you. What are we talking about? What were we talking about? Oh, yeah. Soldier, right? So, yeah. In the army, they tell you to make you bed. It is not about the bed, because obviously... What the F you worried about how the bed looks? No, it's about that discipline. If you wake up and your room looks like whatever, and you wanna do this, you wanna be rich, right? I hear this all the time. AK, show me how to be rich. And you know how many people I've wasted my time trying to put them on? But it felt like I'm preaching to an empty choir. If I, it was my hat. If I would have spoke to this hat and put this hat on, get it, put it on. This hat would have been more successful because I've wasted my time. I'm done putting people on for free because it's not about the money. Clearly, you can see. I don't need nobody money. I could show you this Neumann U87 microphone. What I paid for it, you don't even have it in your savings. So I don't need your money. I've been in Bitcoin since it was pennies. It's not about the money though. It's about the respect. If you don't have the discipline, I can show you can have Mother Effo. You could have Elon Musk himself be your mentor. You know how I said God want to help you? A lot of times God send you signs, but you don't, you're not trying to read them signs. 
you're too caught up in that stupid cycle. When I come and I don't, I don't tell you signs, I tell you straight up to your face. Now you're angry. AK, how you gonna say that to me? Man, if you don't shut up, boy. What I'm telling you, no one is gonna tell you. You want me to tell you a beautiful lie? Like, like the lies y'all be telling the girls at the club? Lying at the ends? Lying at the Negroes. I said, I gotta censor it. Let me write that down. Censor at, yeah. Censor at three minutes of this part. Anyway, let me highlight it because I'm not gonna let the haters demonetize me. You mother effers. Negro is mad they're not successful, so they report my video. Forgive me. You know why I said forgiveness? Back to the back to the scripture here. The not so holy scripture. Forgiveness. Forgive them. Not for them. I know a lot of them don't deserve forgiveness. Some of these creeps that touched on you while you was young. I'm talking to men here. Girls, y'all got Me Too movement. Get over there. A lot of you men that got touched, nobody's speaking up for you. When Hassan, Hassan is brave. I don't mean brave like you're a brave girl for speaking out. He's brave because not only did he speak out against the creep, he spoke out against the creep in the black community. You know how they view you? Forget being gay, like, like LGBT. No, no, no. Forget being gay. Because he's straight. But he got, he's a victim of abuse. If he was a white dude, people would have been like, I'm sorry that happened to you. But he's a black dude. Not only is he black, he's not Carlton black. He's in the hood. How the hell you tell somebody, this man, our word me, our word. Not only that, as a kid, as a child, this man is a creep. It took a lot for him. And he's a, he's a super gangster. Not anymore. But Hassan got bodies on him. He served time for homies. Not the homies you hang with. Homicides. Dude's official. He speaks the truth. He's getting money too, but don't we all want money? He got the discipline to make five videos a day. You, s I hate anyone who hates Hassan Campbell. Without getting into details, I may or may not have been a victim of similar stuff as a child. I've been, I had to grow up early. I didn't have a childhood. So when you, instead of supporting that man, like the dude, my son, my son from Black Lives Matter, tell me this, my son, as a victim, allegedly myself, if I come up and tell you I'm a black man, mother effer, does my life not matter, Mr. Black Lives Matter? You told the victim of abuse, keep it hip hop. You stupid mother Ugh. Mother Effa, I tell you, this man touched me as a child. I don't even want to sue him because I'm gangster like that. Africa bound by And you tell me, keep it hip hop? Man, I'll hip hop you with this. You see what's going on? That's why I don't trust a lot of these activists. The real activists get assassinated. Malcolm X, Martin Luther. Uh, what was her name? Some, some Shakur, I forgot the name. Watch Hassan Campbell. The people who really speak get done dirty in the media. And I don't support Kanye on anti-Semitism because I love Jews. One of my best friends in this YouTube is, is a Jewish person. And I was raised in, 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 in Sunni, Wahhabi, Saudi Arabia before the new king. So imagine, that's how tolerant I am. I have gay friends, real life 
flamboyant, some of them. <laughs> some of them are street and they just dumb. But it's, it is what it is. So you can't say I'm intolerant. I'm just saying. The people who really speak that, the real activists, they activate a bullet where I got the Bitcoin on them. That's why. That's why you want you telling me my son is an activist? Black Lives Matter are activists? Who's sponsoring them? Follow the money. Where is the money for some of these goofy activists y'all putting up? Oh, so the same government that all of y'all are protesting to against, you telling me they sponsor. They sponsoring these so-called activists? Then what are they activating? The only thing they activating is a bunch of news headlines make you feel like kumbaya. It ain't no kumbaya. I really make you uncomfortable, but I'm not an activist. It's not my job to, I don't like politics. <laughs> I'm not Malcolm. As far as you're concerned, I'm a junkie rapper. It's a rapper. I'm scum of the earth. But one thing about it, and I'm not a Christian, Jesus, you know, for you Christians out there, or not, just take the message. Jesus came down to people who needed him the most. He didn't go to the finest, most, most pious of the world. He went to the scum, the real ends of the world. He hung out with escort ladies of the night. Jesus. So I'm not better than nobody, man. I'm just one of the people. I'm not, I'm not scared to admit my imperfections. <sighs> That's neither here nor there. It is what it is. Forgive them for you, not for them. You keep carrying hate like, like a burning coal. The only person being burnt is you, my friend. You, my brother. I don't care if you think I'm not your brother. You, my brother. If you don't believe in God, we all came from the same couple cells, same bacteria. So you are my brother or cousin. Cuz? On Paruka, what they say. Don't ask me how I know. I'm not. I don't care. Let me hurry up because if my camera says low storage again, as I'm the best part, I will go furious and turn hypocrites. Let me see something. So forgiveness. Let go. Let go and let live, so you can live. Let the hate, the hate is consumed. It's like a carrying weight. I forgive the man who took the life of my brother. Not because he is worthy of forgiveness. But Allah said, and I'm not, a, not religious. Allah said, if you don't give mercy, then you don't deserve mercy. As much as I wanted him in the dirt, I had to turn the other cheek for me first so I can grow and what did I do for my passing brother my fallen soldier I came here every day to fight in his name against violence so I can save a life that way my homie is not going on a chain like yours all your homie did was end up on a shirt or a chain I don't care how many diamonds you put in that chain your homie at the end of the day is a statistic. The fight that I'm fighting with for to stop violence, and I don't want to wake no one up, but at least stop the violence. This fight is gonna, I use him his name a lot, so now his name is gonna get remembered. Your homie's a, your homie is a statistic. My homie's gonna go out a hero, like my auntie, journalist, assassinated. A hero. People pass away. I cried about it. I grieved. But I'm not going to cry forever. I'm just going to make sure he doesn't end up like the people who's hating on me.
Your homie is a statistic. May Allah rest his soul. I don't clown the dead. Until you stop living in this gangster persona and grow up and get out the hood and stop embarrassing black people, my Negro, your homie or homies or you because you're still in the life, live by the gun, that by the gun. So even if you end up like that, you didn't inspire nobody to do better. You're going to forever. You're going to forever remain a statistic. No disrespect. You don't want to be? Spread the positive message. And be the change you want to see. I'm anxious for the story, so let's hurry up. Eh. Don't be mad at yourself. Forgive who did you wrong, but most importantly, forgive yourself. You might be mad like, I can't believe I let that bee use me and finesse me out of my money. Cause she's a gold digger, I can't believe. I trusted you and you stabbed, backstabbed. Don't burden yourself. I can't believe I let the door open and they ran in my crib and it's not your fault. My brother that got popped, yes, he was got robbed for money, but it was mostly jealousy because he was a rapper. I made him rap. I hate rap because of what happened because if I never made him rap, they would have never been so jealous to have to do that to him. I blame myself. I used to act out. When you see me angry, like that one video, I'll maybe put the clip. There was some stimulants in my system. But that wasn't what's making me angry. Because you can do that and still be, be uh, not perfect. You can do that and be in a party mood. What made me so angry was the torture I lived in. As you can see, I have money. I can get anything I want to. Besides blowing up on YouTube, I've accomplished everything I want in life. I can pass away right now. My family's good. Even if they try to assassinate me, put dirt on my name, da da da, the, the blockchain exists. I got money in places no one can know about. I don't care if it was the, the top <laughs> Illuminati, if they exist. Shout out Satoshi. I, I, there's power in, in being smart. Stop being so dumb. So don't blame yourself. We're in the present. You're anxious, why? Why do you have anxiety? You're thinking about the future. Stop thinking about what you don't know. I may seem like I got it all together, but I don't know what tomorrow holds. I could be gone tomorrow. No one knows what's tomorrow. You could be sad and blaming yourself about the past, but dumb dummy, we're not in the past. We're not in the future. We're in the present. It's a gift. It's a present. Kung Fu Panda. Shifu said it's a present. We're in the here now. I get lazy making these YouTube videos because I think, damn, I got to make daily videos. This might take a year. F that. Focus on now. You want to give yourself anxiety? Think about the future. I don't know. You don't know. Even if you think you have a plan, circumstances change all day. <laughs> you are not you from the past who made the mistake. You are you now. We're in the present. So don't blame yourself for yesterday. The only thing you can do is learn from it. 
So do what you can do and do your best at it. Stop holding on to that. To that. I'm tired. Let me wrap this up. Shout out to my shout out to you family for 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 making it this far in the video. Again, if it helps one person, if you're not angry, next time you get angry, you want to go do. Maybe if it's not taking a life, it could be something simple as being petty. Now people lose respect for you. Never make decisions while you're angry. Never blame yourself and get angry over the past. That's the past. The past is in the past. <laughs> Even in court, statute of limitation, at some point, time passes. They can't charge you with the past. Unless you Bill Cosby. But anyway. Woo! Hot oh, leg. You, you guys, I love you guys. You give me purpose. I gotta buy more storage because I keep looking at the thing. Make sure it's recorded. Ah, uh, yeah, charger. F. All right. So focus on the present. This is irrelevant, but it's um. Look up Martin Luther King quotes. God bless his soul. I'll give you a quick one. We must learn to live together as brothers. I said again. Listen, we must live, we must learn to live together as brothers, or we will perish together as fools. I told you Sudan and Egypt used to be one. The biggest civilization hub. The, the the foundation of everything technology <laughs> you clowning the white girl with the nose ring she talking about crystals have energy and you're dumb you're dumb so you're clowning her she might be dumb but she's onto something this 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 phone you're watching me this tv this computer screen this this is made from silicon which is a crystal you're watching me through it. This is carrying information. How crazy is that? This is displaying me in front of you. You might be in a different country, different city. You might be down to black. But you're not in front of me. Yet you can see me ramble for two hours. That's crystals. Silicon is a crystal. So don't be so quick to... I try to understand, you know. Don't be a hater. That's not part of the list, but it should be. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Don't understand the price of your decisions you make while angry. Because maybe I can't calm you down. Bro, don't go slad for, for, for what's his name. Nah, bro. This, this can't be. I'm from the streets. There's a price to pay. I don't care if you're from the streets. I don't care if you're from planet Nibiru. Think about the price. I tell personal stories. I told a lot. I'm tired. Yeah, man. Success. You want to take revenge? Okay. Success is the best revenge. They have anger management class. If you got the patience or the money to do it, do it. But if you're like me, you have the warrior spirit. You don't need no class. The only class you need is somebody to class your head against the uh, Control yourself. 
how do you, you guys don't hear it talking about the red pill? Women should be submissive to me because I'm the boss. You're not a boss. I'm the boss. I don't have time for women, though, because I'm the real boss. I work hard on many companies and businesses. What's their business? None of your business. See, I like to sabotage. I keep my business private. Nonetheless, how do you expect the female? You, you want her to treat... Come here. You want her to treat you like a leader... You can't even lead yourself or discipline yourself. You want her to be submissive to you? Why? If anything, she should be submissive to me. <laughs> but I'm too busy for her. Why am I too busy? I choose. I'm a man of God. I could be effing your B. Instead, I'm educating you and saving your life. But you're too busy hating on me. You deserve a slap to the face. But shout out to um, Bishop Lamar Whitehead and Judah Bernard and Jules. Check them out. They're YouTubers as well. But if it wasn't for them, I'd go back to the old me and handle you. But Hassan Campbell put me on, on game. Shout out how. If you've learned anything from uh, this content, because I'm done. The list is over. If you've learned or benefited, I hope it made you feel better. If you've laughed, because y'all think I'm funny, I'm no comedian. But a lot of you laugh at me. You say I'm funnier than these comedians. I'm not an activist, but I really do more work and research than a Candace Owens 20 times. I deserve the share. When I tell you share my video, hit like. And don't, don't click subscribe. Smash subscribe, mother effer. I want to say it loud, but I'm trying to be a good neighbor. Mother effer. Hit like, smash subscribe. Uh, uh, thanks for watching. My name is AK Debris. Follow me on Instagram. Uh, the names I, t I said... Check them out. I'm blessed to have you here, family. I love you. Watch the documentaries. More entertaining, less serious. Refresh you from, from, from your anger, okay? There's a lot of content here, YouTube. If you have money to play with, hit the super thanks. I don't go live, so no super chat. But if you send the super thanks, I check. And I will shout out your name. In the next video I do, so I'm not as I don't need your money, but if you want to support me and keep me on YouTube motivated instead of going back, cause Lord knows, <laughs> like I said in the song, I can make Lord knows, <laughs> I can make ten bands with my eyes closed, but not in a positive way. So I want to do positive. Don't let my music. Make you think I'm a hypocrite. That stuff is entertainment. If I believed in that stuff and I was lying to you about being entertainment, I won't be in front of your face. Mother effer. It is eight in the morning. I want to go choke the chicken and hit the blunt and sip. This is not lean. I want to sip the not lean. <laughs> but instead, I've been here for two hours. I could have had a booty call, but instead I'm educating you. So I'd appreciate at least leave a like, a comment, and smash subscribe, and share it around. Not for me. I'm done making music. I only drop because the fans want and support the family want. So I don't have fans. I have family. All right. Smile. Keep your head up. All right. Be humble and provide value. If you live by the stuff I preach, share it around, not my video, but at least the idea. And you wanna see change? Don't complain about the world. Be the change you wanna see. Peace out. That's my signature move, get used to it.
Hats off to those who shared. Long live most paid, Negro.